hi <laughs> hello and welcome this is scruffy storms i'm back i'm going to see the prodigy of waffling let's go gig 
what a gig for my first vlog back. I have been to other gigs since my last vlog. State of my hair. I have been to other gigs, but I just wasn't in the right headspace to vlog them. But tonight, I felt like it and back with a bang. I've got like two contradictory things in my head now because on the one hand, I can't believe how unchanged the Prodigy are from when I last saw them in 2004, 2005. The same energy, the crowd with the same energy, so much energy, like... I don't think any other band I have seen, certainly recently, has that total ability to get the crowd going. Even before the Prodigy came on stage, the crowd was hyper. And the lights, the mix of the lights, the, just the perfect way, the light show and the music, um fit together it's like they are unmatched unmatched in that respect so on the one hand they seem completely unchanged but on the other hand they are uh, completely changed because keith is not there and i i just remember when i first saw the prodigy in 04 i was just so thrilled that i got to see keith flint in his top hat hollering i'm the fire starter twisted fire starter that, that felt like such an immense um privilege as a music fan to be able to witness that and you know obviously i'm so glad i had that opportunity um which is gone forever now um but the way they paid tribute to him with that just that silhouette the outline of his fire star to look just materializing those devil horns it was it was perfect and it was actually very moving um it was a, a beautiful moment. I thought they might have like a video of him or something to sing that song, but no, it was without vocals. Just a sort of a slightly different version, but still unmistakably Firestarter. So hot and sweaty. Like I have not been that hot and sweaty. I was, I was literally thinking like, I don't think I've been this hot and sweaty since I was like at school in Singapore on a sports day or something. <laughs> When I was 12. It, the thing about this, like every single gig I've been to, because this has been quite a stressful year, I have been more in need of the healing power of live music than ever before. And um, each gig I've been to has sort of reset me in some way, put me back onto like an even plane, put me, you know, brought me back into myself. And with this gig, it felt like after the week we've had with the heat wave, uh, I don't know about you, but Monday and Tuesday were tough. Um, and just feeling so dragged down by the heat. And then to be even hotter <laughs> in the Brixton Academy, but feeling energized by it. And just the sheer, this is a sheer joy of being alive and dancing and sweating and screaming that the prodigy bring like no band can bring like the prodigy um i am i just so glad i went to see them but i do have to say uh i was energized by the heat and the noise and the screaming and the dancing and stuff for a time <laughs> by the time the end of their main set and smack my bitch up which was incredible i i it was still fantastic, but I realized it was just getting so hot, so sweaty, so rowdy. I knew if I didn't like at least get some water, I was going to stop enjoying myself. So I went to the bar and got some water during that song. Downed it almost in one. And then um, I turned around and I just thought, I just could not face going back into the crowd. Even like I couldn't even find myself a little breathing space at the very back. It was packed right to almost out the door into the foyer so I went out into the foyer and I just thought you know what I'm good you know there's I know I knew there were going to be more songs but I thought I don't want to force myself just to hear a few more songs um to stay and maybe just end up feeling unwell and not enjoying it as much I'd rather I've had an amazing time I'd rather just leave it at that so I went home and that is, I think that's very unusual for me. That's the only time I think I voluntarily left a gig early. Um, I have once before with a friend who wanted to leave early. Um, and that was only for like the last song. Um, but I'm no regrets, you know. Um, 
unless they dragged out Crispy and Mills to sing Narayan, and then I'll be pissed off, but <laughs> I don't think they're doing that. I hope they didn't do that. So, uh, I'm back. I am hoping to be more regular on the channel and the blog. I've started catching up on the blog of the gigs that I hadn't um, put a blog post up for. So my last blog post was Damon Albarn, who I saw in February, and I have just this week posted Koshin, who I saw in March, which is where I got COVID, and the sort of chaos of my life went into overdrive and stopped me from blogging and YouTubing for a bit. Um, but uh, things are a bit more stable now. Uh, I don't know for how long, because <laughs> life never lets you be stable for long. Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm back for good-ish. Um, let's see. Uh, and, and... If you follow my vlogs, you know the Liam vlog, I talked about how I'd just uh, been offered a new job. And I started that job in June, and uh, I am, as of now, as of this evening, on my first uh, annual leave <laughs> from that job. I'm off tomorrow and all of next week. Because <sighs> I need a break. So, um, hallelujah. I am going to go pour some ice on me now and uh, go to sleep. But I hope you're well, and I'll talk to you again very soon. Bye.